exclusive back with another fucking banger so before i even get started like comment subscribe buy my herbalife products and buy a t-shirt link in the description i just got that new phone i don't know if y'all can tell camera quality be crazy you feel me but anyway i just wanted to come to y'all real real quick and break down my diet because a lot of people are like cg what the fuck are you doing you change your diet up every other day every other week and I was for a while, for about two weeks, I switched up about twice, but now I'm on a consistent diet and I figured out what I'm going to do and what's going to work for me. So let's break it down. So basically what I'm doing is I'm intermittent fasting, but I'm also in a calorie deficit. I'm eating, but not a huge calorie deficit like I was before. I'm only eating about 500 to 800 calories less than I would normally eat. I'm 5'9", about 190. My maintenance calories is about 3,100, 3,200, some shit like that. I'm eating around 2,400 calories a day. I'm eating, I'm going to eat breakfast. I eat breakfast at 11 o'clock and I stop eating at seven o'clock. So I fit three meals in, in those eight hours. So what I do is my, and I, I don't really measure calories, like my calorie intake. I more go off grams of protein. So I'm give or take, I take 200 grams of protein a day because I'm a 190 pounds. I just round up to 200. And then I do about 180, 185 grams of carbs. So rate about the same, just a little less, 175. And then I do about 95 to 100 grams of fats a day. I keep the fats moderately low compared to the other two. And the reason I'm doing this and I already feel and see improvements is because um, I'm trying to shred my body fat percentage, but I'm also trying to maintain muscle. So the 200 grams of protein that I do do is just keeping all my muscle on me while my body's burning fat, burning fat, burning fat. And how can you burn more fat and build muscle is how people ask. Well, I'm doing it um, intermittent fasting, like I said. Uh, I have one gram of protein for every, um, pound of, every pound that I weigh. So I'm doing that. I keep the carbs and the fats less than the protein. And then also what I'm doing is I'm sleeping for eight hours. I'm um, awake for eight hours, doing my school in the gym whatever, and then I eat all my meals within another eight hours. 8, 16, 24, keep your day simple. You feel what I'm saying? So people are asking me, why are you doing this? And I said, because I want to be faster. I want to get my jump up, my bounce up, but I also want to be lighter and have my body fat percentage be less. So I just look shredded. My veins is already popping. You feel what I'm saying? So another thing is how am I working out? I'm doing two sessions of yoga a day. Well, I try to. I usually get one. I want, guaranteed one. I try to get two and if I can. Um, I'm doing more cardio. I actually have a torn labrum in my shoulder too. So I tore the muscle group. Uh, the labrum is a muscle group apparently in my uh, my left shoulder. So I got to go get injections done uh, in two more weeks. And they're going to fill it with gel. And that gel is going to fill the tear. So I don't need surgery on it. Um, thank God. Appreciate all your support. But um. I won't need surgery on it. I just need a gel injection to heal the tear, and then that'll be it. That's what they told me. Um, so I'm. that's honestly a blessing in disguise is because now that I can't focus on my upper body, bench pressing, doing all types of crazy weight, trying to bang out 315, I can just focus on my legs, focus on getting more flexible, focus on doing more cardio, and doing the things I need to do to be able to run faster and jump higher. So that shoulder injury is a blessing in disguise. When y'all get hurt, a lot of dudes take excuses. Oh my God, I'm hurt. I can't run. My shoulder hurts. My chest hurts. I can't go run. Soft ass bitch. Switch up and find another way. Now that my shoulder's hurt, my doctor's like, yeah, you should take a couple weeks off of the gym until you get your operation done. I'm thinking in my, I'm like, yeah, yeah, saying that to him. But in my head, I'm like, all right, how can I switch up and come back another way? Y'all crazy if you think I'm taking two weeks off and not working out. So what can I do? more cardio. I do two sessions of cardio a day, more yoga and leg day every day, leg day every other day. You feel what I'm saying? So switch up and come back another way when you get hurt. Adjust your routine to what your body can and can't do. Now that my shoulders are, I know not to go bench a crazy amount of weight. I'll just do legs, legs, legs till I get stronger, faster, and more flexible. That way I can focus my craft on jumping higher, more box jumps, more weighted box jumps. Be able to cater my diet, drinking a gallon of water a day to make sure my muscles are straight. Sleeping enough, doing the things I need to do to get right. I'm just coming at y'all, bringing this basically what I'm doing from here on out. How to break that shit down for y'all, because a lot of y'all asking this a really, really good question. Have a great blessed weekend. I'm probably not going to upload a video tomorrow. Maybe I will. Um, I don't really know yet. But anyway, have a great blessed weekend. 
Yeah, great blessed weekend. Stay up, y'all. Peace out. Salute.